Hey, and welcome to the Problem with Focus edition of Seven Figure Business Secrets. Morning, yeah, yet again, stuck in traffic, so it gives me a chance to talk to you guys. How are you? Uh, yeah, so I just want to talk to you about focus. It's been, it, it, I've listened to a few podcasts lately, and actually two clients as well, uh, and talk about focus, and you know, I think everyone gets it. Focus is really important, and you know, when you hear people like um, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and who else, Richard Branson coming out and saying, do you know what, the, the number one driver of their success has been their ability to focus. It's a really good hint for all of us that focus is really important. So I don't think I need to convince you that that focus is is important. I think I think you get that. Um, the problem that I'm I'm hearing again, and again, and again though is a misunderstanding about focus, and and it, it boils down to to basically I, I think a, a misunderstanding that actually there's two parts to focus, and and it's really important that that we as uh, as entrepreneurs and business owners understand that because. Yeah, it, there's so much to distract us and, and um, yeah, pull at our time that unless we get the difference between the two aspects of focus and unless we nail both of them, we're in big trouble. <laughs> big, big trouble. And that's what I'm, I'm seeing all the time. And, and there's, there's some really bad advice around at the moment on focus. So, so yeah, so I, I want to I give you the lowdown, the insight, and, uh, so that you can actually go, to, go and make up your own mind on this. And yeah, and hopefully agree with me that actually there's two really important things you need both of them. So yeah, so where is this coming from? Well, about, I'd say about three months ago, uh, I started on this, this journey that, that I'm still on at the moment, which was, what's the next big thing for me? And, and yeah, it was, it was an interesting journey because um, you, you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure that, that entrepreneurs uh, and business owners like, like me and you, we can, we can set up easily, we can reduce the risk, and our likelihood of success is far greater than, than it is at the moment and and lots of reasons for that but basically one of the one of the main reasons why entrepreneurs quite often fail yeah, in fact the main reason by a long way is actually it's difficult you need to know a lot of stuff you need to know a lot of stuff and, and you need to be able to adapt what's out there to your own individual business and your own individual circumstances and that takes quite a lot of effort and the way it's currently done at the moment is yeah, basically you gotta go and figure it out yourself. <laughs> but you gotta go and figure out your ads, you gotta go and figure out how to do sales. You have to figure out your product, you have to figure out how to build it, you have to figure out how to build a team, you have to figure out all of that, right? All the time, yeah? And and there's no one-stop generic advice that's gonna work for you, yeah? If you're looking for it, it ain't there, I'm sorry. But what does work is, is actually, um, a combination of figuring out for yourself, but then having access to the information that you need. So, for example, if you're looking to hire a really good uh, person, right? There's there's tactics and and ways of doing that that would probably work for you, and you can get sort of 85% there with if you knew the right advice and where to find it. And then the last important tweak is if you were able to just ask someone, get five seconds of of their time. Uh, someone who actually knows how to do this, they'd say, yeah, yeah, take this 85% of stuff, but don't do this, do that instead, and that's gonna work brilliantly for your business, yep. And, and there you have it, you probably know exactly now how to hire your right marketing person or, or your, your COO who's gonna help you scale, yep. So, so that's how it works, you need both of those things. And I realized uh, for me and my business to make that happen is, I can't just push information and training out. I've got to deliver more. I've got to deliver you a, a way of, of connecting with me or connecting with other experts that can yeah, give, you the, give you the advice and give you the, the stuff that works, yeah? But then the, the little icing on the cake which says, yeah, and here for your particular circumstance, for what you're doing at the moment, here's what you need to do. Or if you've got a quick question going, oh, I sort of get how to hire that person, but I had this question. Uh, that you can reach out and get that information. And, and the way I'm doing that is putting together a mastermind program. Yep, so you've heard me go on about it. But wh wh why am I telling you all this? Because I had a big aha while, while doing all this and it was all around focus. And I realized that, that if my focus is on, on helping you guys and making sure you've got the very best, I need to get this product up and running, yeah? Are nothing else in the business. It's, it's got to become my, my number one focus. 
and and that's what I've basically been doing for the last last uh, three months is is working on first of all I had to figure out how to do it, I had to figure out the connections I need, the network, the best method of doing it, the technology, the marketing, all of that type of thing. Yeah. But going back to the focus question, that there's there's basically two things I had to do, right? And and the first thing is is around the what I call focus is always two things. There's, there's the strategy of focus and the tactics of focus. And and the problem with a lot of the discussion about focus at the moment is it's all around the tactics. Yeah, it's all around you know what it is it's it's um, uh, actually Cal Newport's book Deep Work. It's a really really great read. But that's a really good book on the on the tactics of focus. So all around having block time and don't get disturbed when you're doing stuff and don't try and multitask and yeah, all that type of and, and really good advice. Yeah, really good advice. But <laughs> the problem with the tactics, problem with the tactics is is missing the strategy. And and the, the best way that I find of describing the difference between the tactics and strategies is to think about dominoes, right? Um, so in dominoes, right, imagine if you've got three dominoes lined up in front of you, right? And and if you the first domino, if you press the first domino, it falls over and it doesn't knock any other domino behind it, right? Right? Then you press the domino, you've knocked the domino over, but there's nothing else happening behind it. So that's that's okay. But that's the equivalent of of doing a task, a one-off task, and nothing else happens, right? Now, imagine the second domino, right? And it's got a pile of dominoes behind it, maybe five, 10, 15, 100 dominoes, right? But you know, if you, if you just push that first domino over this time, it's gonna knock the second and the third and the fourth and go on indefinitely, hopefully, yeah? That, that, they're the dominoes you're looking for, right? That by doing one thing, it knocks over a pile more. And that's where, you know, I, I could give you, like I could write you an individual email about, oh, this is what you need to do to hire that, that person. Yeah, here's how you do it. That would be the equivalent of me, a one-off thing, press that domino and falls over. Or the second thing is, is I actually do a training course or a podcast on it, where actually not just you, but anyone who has that similar problem can actually learn from it. That would be the equivalent of me knocking over a whole pile of dominoes behind it. But there's a third aspect of strategy, a third domino that's even, even cooler, right? And that's what I want you to think about, is that that third domino, when I knock that one over, it's actually gonna knock over not just a domino behind it, but a slightly bigger domino behind it. And behind that domino is, the third domino is an even slightly bigger, and then the fourth domino is even slightly bigger. So I knock over one that's maybe this size, and the fifth domino is probably that size, it's huge, yeah? And the tenth domino is, even bigger, it's massive. And, and what happens is you get an exponential effect coming in. Because although I start over knocking a small domino, by domino 10 is probably a foot high and it's knocking over a domino that's a foot and a quarter high, yeah? And by dom tw domino 20, it's probably, well, it must be almost 10 feet tall, yeah? And it's knocking over a domino that's 14 foot tall, yeah? So you get, a, so by domino 100, you're knocking over skyscrapers. By domino whatever 150 you're probably knocking over the moon yeah that's the power of that exponential domino and that's what you're looking for that is they're the dominoes uh, that, that that you need to look for and the only way you're going to know that is 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 if you're clear about your strategy so that's bring it all back circle that's where i spent you know two or three months ago figuring out well well what is my what is my big domino what's the thing that if i actually got up and running would Back to my strategy. My strategy is to help as many business owners and entrepreneurs to be as successful as possible, as quickly as possible, with as little chance of failure as possible. Yeah, that's my strategy. And then I realized that 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 domino of having the mastermind group, where where all of this service is delivered within it, that is what I need to be working on. Because if I get that up and running, it knocks over so many dominoes, so many bigger dominoes, and it allows me to. Yeah, scale and serve and yeah, just make the world a better place. So so all of that thought about um, figuring out the third domino, that's that's what I've been working on almost exclusively is, is figuring it out now implementing it. But if if I'd gone back to the advice of Cal, if I'd focused just on um, you know, the, the Cal Newport's advice of, you know, get bigger block time and everything, I just spend longer uh, or I'd be more focused on knocking over dominoes that have no do dominoes behind them. Well, that would be the danger. And that's actually what I see most people doing is, yeah, they're just better at knocking over dominoes that 
<laughs> aren't knocking over any other dominoes. They're, they're just good at the tactics of it. So, domino strategy. That's that's my message for for focus. Is is uh, you know Bill Gates and those guys. They're right. But what they did is they focused on knocking over dominoes that had a an effect they were looking at for, for the dominoes, the number three dominoes, they were knocking over bigger, bigger dominoes behind them, yeah? So so that's what I need you to do. Actually, there's, you know, there's a great book, what's it called? The One Thing by Gary Keller. And it's something I reread probably probably once a year. Um, but he, he has, a, he has a, a few really great analogies. I, I suggest really strongly you get that book. Log on to Amazon now, go and just download it. You, you won't regret it, it's, a, it's quite a, an easy read. Um, but his whole thing about the the one thing, as you'd expect, is is about focus, and about strategy of focus, and uh, and and yeah, just just the power of it. And he's so many analogies and examples of of people who've gone and made this work. So yeah, so that's the the one thing, Gary Keller, right? But in the meantime, while you're waiting for that book to arrive, yeah, yeah, just figure out what is it that you're actually trying to achieve. What is the big goal of your company? The the big goal that you're that that you want out of it. The big thing you want for your customers and start working backwards now because that's going to to give you your choice of dominoes and that's from that you're going to figure out which one's a domino number one a domino number two and domino number three look for the domino number threes okay make sense cool okay i shall talk to you shortly have fun bye